it's a new episode! <laughs> hey guys, Messina Nelly here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. In the last episode, <laughs> we got ourselves a couple new masks, and the mailman is heading into this building. And in this episode, we're going to be searching out for the missing cafe, which is what this mask is for. I'm gonna take it off for now, though. I'm gonna wait for this guy to walk up. Come on, man. Go, go join in this conversation. You do that. Yeah, give her that letter. Uh, 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 um, what is this? Here you are, today's mail. Oh, wait, this letter, where did you? From the post box. Yep, that's a good answer, right? Th that's not what I mean. From the post box, where? From the post box, somewhere. That's not what I mean. Well, she seems to be in a bit of a pickle. Andrew the innkeeper was added to your notebook. The only daughter of the stockpot in inn's caretaker. She's a little timid, but very sweet and polite. I've always liked Anju, just down, just from her design to how how nice she seems. She just seems like so pure and so innocent and just really a nice person. I feel I feel like she's one of those people that would just go out on a limb and help you no matter what it is that you need, even though we're the ones who's going to be helping her. So uh, before you talk to her about anything else, turn into a Goron and talk to her like this. Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Are, um, are you wanting to stay the night? Yes, I am. Oh, hello. You must be the Goron checking in today. Welcome. Let me just confirm your reservation real quick. One moment, please. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Goron. Oops, I mean, Mr. Link. Welcome to our humble inn. Your, your room is the knife chamber. Knife chamber? Really? You're keeping me in a knife box? Okay. You got a room key. You're not sure why, but you apparently had a reservation. Here you go. You were mistaken for a guest with the same name as you. Shh. <laughs> Your room is a knife chamber. Best of all, you got a room key. Please relax. Uh, re relax. Um, so... Back in the N64 days, you could talk to her in any form and she would- Hey, look, it's a dancer girl. You could talk to her in any form and she would give you the room key. In this version, if you do not talk to her as a Goron specifically, then she will not give you the key and she'll be like, you trying to pull a fast one over me or something? No, she, she doesn't actually get suspicious. She's just like, oh, our reservation is for a Goron. There must be some mix-up. And then she, she just doesn't give it to you, so. Keep that in mind. If you do that, then you're screwed out of getting the room key for this, for this cycle. Uh, something great about this room key, too, is that now we don't have to take that balcony exit anymore if we want to get in during the night. We can just come in all our own. And this is our room. Check it out. Oh, wow. I hear the Song of Storms next door. <laughs> Kick this open. And we got another 100 rupees, which I probably should have emptied out my wallet for. That's great. Oh, uh, what a ramshackle inn. Is this room supposed to be first class? You can hear whoever's next door for crying out loud. Well, whatever. We're staying for free, so we can't expect much. Well, someone in this world paid for it. Some poor Goron soul that probably doesn't have a whole lot of money. Uh, so that's all there really is to this room. You get 100 rupees. Uh, not much else to say about it. I still hear that place next door. They're, to, they're just kind of jamming out in that room. Uh, if you want to see the person who's supposed to have this room, you have to wait until 4 p.m., which is in 40 minutes. Or we can just speed up time. Or not. Never mind. If you arrive at 4 p.m., here is Mr. Link. The city is so busy, it's hard to find one's way, Goro. And let's see what they have to say. Come on, hurry it up, talk to her. I'm terribly sorry, there are no vacancies today. We're booked solid with reservations. I made a reservation. 
The name is Linkoro. Mr. Linkoro? I don't have a reservation under that name. There's one close to that, but... <laughs> What? Really, Goro? Well, it's nice weather, so I'll just sleep outside, Goro. I'm terribly sorry. Now, the really unfortunate thing is... It rains on the second day. This poor guy. I feel so bad. We just swiped this, this room right from out under his nose, and he has to go and sleep in the freaking rain? I, I, I just feel so terrible about this. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is a bad idea. Okay, stop talking to her. It's my turn to talk to her, man! Get lost! Get lost! Thank you. Actually, what do you say? It's a hard world to live in, Goro. I like how his speech patterns also screwed him because he said Link Goro, and she thought that was a part of his name, Goro. Okay, let's put the cafe mask on and talk to Anju with it. You're also looking for cafe. I have a request. Cafe, I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11... 11.30, please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. Anju wants to talk about cafe. She requests a meeting in the kitchen at 11.30 p.m. Okay, well, now we have another appointment. Look at how freaking slowly this guy moves. By the way, if you ever want people to move faster or walk faster, just turn off the inverted song of time and speed things up to normal. And then they'll start walking at a normal pace. So I think that's all we can do right now that's of any particular use. I mean, I guess I can go and deposit some rupees, but until midnight, we're pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and deposit some stuff, and I'll see you guys at midnight. Okay, can we talk about this poor guy? Look at this, he's sleeping out on the streets! This poor dude! The wind has gotten damp, Goro. Tomorrow is rain, Goro. Goro, Goro. This is so sad, he's out in the rain and the cold and sleeping on the hard floor. Man! Link, you are some hero, aren't you? You are some freaking hero. So, uh, we want to come back here, and Andrew is on her way to the kitchen. Hello, we'll talk in the kitchen. We're right freaking here. Talk to me right now. Or not. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll sit. I'll stand here and wait for you. Come on. Come on. How about now? We are in the kitchen. She needs to get to her spot, you see. She needs to she needs to get really, really set up for this. I am sorry to trouble you late at night. It's about him, Cafe. I received a letter from him. Strange, isn't it? Getting a letter from a missing person. But there's absolutely no mistaking it's from him. It's clear to me. Please. Here is my letter. Please put this in a post box. When this is delivered, when he receives my letter, you should be able to meet him. Please tell him that Andrew is waiting for him. And please, after you've seen him, tell me how he looked. I'm scared. I, I can't go. Can I ask this of you? Thank you very much. You were given a letter to Cafe. Quick, deliver it for her. Even though all it takes is dropping it in a mailbox. Why? Why does this... Why? I don't understand. And you gave you a letter to cafe. Okay. Please mail it before the postman collects the mail tomorrow. So we're gonna have to go and drop that in the mailbox pretty soon. And something funny about this. You remember this guy? The hand in the toilet? He's not showing up right now. But you can actually use that letter for him to wipe his butt with. It's so bad and so terrible and I feel, okay, sure. <laughs> I'm not actually gonna do it, but the letter is an option that you can use to wipe his butt with. It's so terrible. Like the, the land deed is a lot easier to get, so I don't know why you'd use the letter, but whatever. <laughs> I guess options if you want options. Uh, I'm gonna take off this mask because it's kind of hideous. Uh, with that, I think we're gonna go ahead. And...
and head back to Romani Ranch because it's almost 2 a.m. So I'll see you guys at Milk Road. Here we are at Milk Road and screw the horse, I have Goron rolling. That's the wrong direction, whoops. This is the Gorman track, actually. Uh, is, is, is there a house here? Do they have a house here? Do I see them anywhere? No? Okay. Okay, it's just a, like an outhouse and a storage house or whatever. Uh, go on rolling, go! Yeah, check that out. Okay, head all the way down to the end and we'll be just about ready to defend the ranch from the invaders. Uh, Romani should be somewhere here. I think. Is she in here? She's somewhere. Uh, no, she's not in here. So she's in the other building. We'll, we'll go and check up on her and see what she has to say about the current state of events. Uh, here we go. Sure. Sure, I'll just be out here. I wanted to say hi. But whatever. Okay, it's 2 a.m. I played the song because I was impatient. Hi! Hello! Hello, talk to me. What are we doing? It's almost time. You take care of things outside, Grasshopper. If you have a map, watch it carefully. Okay, whatever happens, do not let them get into the barn. They'll come up from behind the barn, too, so watch out. If you run out of arrows, you can rustle up some more but from the crate near the house or from nearby grass and stuff too. Feel free to stock up. Pro tip for this event. You know how I said to speed up time if you want things to move faster? You probably want to have the inverted song of time turned off for this. Otherwise, it takes a painfully long time to end and they just barely move. Yeah, so we're gonna flick this back on. And I think we can actually talk to her in here too and she might say something different. Let's see. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, uh, no. She just says the same thing. Okay. We're gonna head outside and just wait this out. Should happen any minute now. Any minute. Here we go. This is they. I believe that is also their official name, which is kind of weird. Uh, the dog will yell at the closest one to the barn, so he's gonna be just your little helper in all of this, which is actually kind of adorable. It's really cute. And as Romani mentioned, the map is of critical importance here because it will tell you exactly where all of the all of the aliens are. Honestly, this is not difficult, and it, they kind of they kind of make you think that being on your horse is the way to go, but honestly, it really isn't. On your horse, you just have so little control over what you're doing and like um, over the direction that you're going into. So Really, your best bet is to run around with the bunny hood. Because you run fast enough and all you have to do is prevent them from getting into the barn. And if you watch your map, keep running around, shoot every single one that you see, you should be just fine. I do love the atmosphere though. The atmosphere of this has always been super haunting to me and to be honest, I used to be scared of this when I was when I was younger. It was just like this really time sensitive thing and it's like, "Oh man, I have to defend the barn. They're getting closer. How how can I ever do this?" But um I I remember I actually opted to do it in slow motion with the inverted song of time turned on just because it kind of it creeped me out so much and I wanted to make absolutely sure that I had all the time in the world to shoot every single one of these guys. Uh, honestly, they move slow enough anyway, so there's no actual danger. Look at them. They're like, they're like freaking sloths. Reedheads move faster than them. And that's it. They take off in their UFO and they are gone. 
The ranch is saved! We did it! We won! Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks too. Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do here at the ranch. We got a milk bottle! Take one quick gulp to recover five hearts. You'll feel great. This bottle contains two helpings. When it's empty, reuse the bottle. It's almost time for my sister to get up, so I have to get back to bed. See you later, little hero. That's so cute! I love how she calls it a little hero. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Uh, you got rid of all the ghosts. Ghosts or aliens. Either or, I suppose. Romani couldn't be more grateful. As thanks, she gave you a nice bottle of milk. Bottle included! We have a crap ton of bottles now. Check, check, like, check out these freaking bottles. We have four bottles to play around with, one of which has milk in it now. And now it has half milk. Check it. Aw, that's so cute. That is so cute. I, l I love, I love Link and I love Romani. They're so cute. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, uh, we're gonna turn this back on now that I don't need things to move fast. And we're pretty much done here. I think we're going to wrap things up. And in the next episode, I think we're going to head back to Clock Town to take care of more of the Andrew and Cafe storyline. But first, before we end things off, I'll show you guys exactly what happens when you fail to save the ranch. I will see you guys then. The Sayonella! Out. Yeah.